G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today's probably just going to be a short video, but we all know when I say it's going to be a short video, half the time it turns into a long video. But it's going to be a little bit of a technical one. So you guys know I was, I was talking about shipping the other day. Um, I'm always looking to improve my shipping technique and today is no exception. Um, I'm sending some fish tomorrow and they're going to be bagged from 6 a.m until about I think 5 p.m. Western Standard Time so that's 11 hours um, it's not long in the big scheme of things the the way I bag my fish they are they are capable able to stay in the bags for up to like 48 hours um, 48 hours is like the safe number uh, maybe like 36 to what's What's the next one after 36? 58 hours? Anyway, whatever the next 12, yeah, 58. Um, but anyway, um, I'll show you what I want to do. I've actually spoken to a couple of you guys in the, in the chat, in the comments. And, uh, you know, sorry, sorry, I'm just, um, look at this, we've got like air, air hoses wrapped around air pumps unrelated items but they were tangled um so running a youtube channel might seem like um i know a lot of things but you'll be surprised how many of the things i've learned in the comments it's a two-way street that's for sure but anyway let's get stuck into the video All right, guys. So we've got um, fungo necks, which was recommended to me by someone in the chat. Oh, what's his? I, sorry, I can't remember the, his name off the top of my head. I think it's Chris, but you guys know that I'm absolutely shocking with names of fish, let alone names of human beings. Um, and then I've got Blue Planet White Spot Remedy. So if you actually look at these. There's like the half dosage, which is for like um, clown loaches and that. My plan is to run these two together in the bag at half dosage. Oh, and um, there's a little surprise there that that was in the members video. Um, so basically what the plan is, um, I've got fresh water here bubbling away. My, this that's all the bubbles it's getting today apparently um, so the plan is that just sits in here in this room and gets to temperature tonight I might actually move it there it might get a little bit warmer oh, actually it doesn't really matter it can stay there um, it's probably actually it's already it's already pretty much temperature anyway because uh, it's been been warm today um, and if you don't know the water comes from up there so that water actually gets quite warm up there um, and then my flu valve test kit has a little dripper so I stole the dripper out of that um, so this is like five drops per one liter which is full dosage I want to go half dosage so pretty much I've got two liter bags somewhere here so I want to go five drops of each of those per two liter bag um, I've got these baskets they used to be for fish but they're perfect for holding the bags once the bags have water in them but anyway so I don't know if I mentioned but I'm actually going to bag up a fish now um, one of the lucky ducky flower horns um, I'm kind of, I'll probably, probably this boy here is like good size um, I was going to say he's the lowest quality in there, but I take that back. He's got a very low pearling, but he's a very nice, I think he's actually a pretty nice fish. Um, but anyway, I've already made my mind up. He's the one we're doing. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I'm not going full dosage is because Trooper 2.0, that's her name by the way. Um, OGs of the channel know who Trooper was. Um, I, I ran... A bucket which was at it was at more than one dosage it was it was quite strong of the of the white spot treatment 
and it actually burned the fish so I'm literally going five drops so you get half dosage um, but anyway I'll get the fish out and I'll show you guys all right guys so I got a bag of water I flute I floated in the tank I floated floated it I fluted in the tank for a little bit to get the temperature closer um, and then the only problem here is I can't get this is quite empty all right. all right I need two hands guys sorry you guys are looking at nothing for a second all right so I got the white spot remedy one two three four five kind of need like a I guess it doesn't really matter if that gets in there and then the antifungal one two three four five and then I guess I'll just wash this in the pond 5,000 litres should dilute the medicine pretty well. Um, we'll put that back in there so we know where it is for safekeeping. Um, so there we go, we just got that in the water. It shouldn't discolour it too much. So I'm not sure if I, I didn't really explain why I'm doing this. Um, basically, I sold a fish, it would have been probably close to 12 months ago but it came back to bite me in the bum because when the guy got the fish home the next day it got white spot so I figure if I put white spot remedy in the bag I'm covering my own bum hole um, and speaking to fish wholesalers um, they do this with every single um, package they send and also if you other speaking to Ryan from Kareem Pet Central when he buys from different wholesalers they have methylene blue in the water which is very which is kind of not similar to this but for the same reason as this um, so well actually it would be similar this would be like shall, yeah Malachit green or whatever it's called so it's the same shit just different shit um, all right so now we're ready for our fish Let's just see if we can do the one-handed catch and grab. So I was actually going to cull this fish a few months ago, but like literally just looking at him today, he's actually not bad. He's got great shape, solid fins, nice tail. Um, whoa, sorry guys, you know I'm the worst. I drop fish way too much. If they only knew it was good for them. I was trying to give you a good shot of the camera. Um, what was I going to say about him? Uh, he, he does look a little bit beaky, but he's, he's probably not going to be beaky because he'll grow into it. Kind of like Richard. Richard looked the same shape as that when he was younger. And now look how short his face is. He looks like a bus. You know how the bus is like straight up and down? He's got, like, his face is my favourite. I absolutely love his face, how short it is. Um, like, no other flower horn I own has a face that short. I don't think the silk doesn't. It's, oh, it's actually probably close. Actually, they're probably almost identical in head shape. <laughs> no, no, his isn't as short. Um, you'll see that Richard's down here. He's been kicked out of the five foot. Um, I've got coin and a, and a girl, an undisclosed girl. Um, I'm just naming this one coin because it, cause it's just stuck accidentally. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so the fish is in the bag. Talking about those fish has absolutely nothing to do with today's topic. Um, so if I wake up tomorrow morning, uh, so I'm leaving this in the bag for 12 hours, by the way. Um, if I wake up tomorrow morning and the fish is dead, I will still post this video because I want people to be informed of whether this is a good idea or not. Um, and I'm going to record at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. 
Oh, no, it'll be earlier than that. Six o'clock's what time I have to be at work. <laughs> I've got to be bagged. I've got to bag two boxes of fish, drive them to the airport, and then get to work for six o'clock. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I've probably got way too much water in this bag. Oh, that was so loud. Hopefully there's no headphone users. All right, so I'm bagging it with oxygen. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's a two hand job. All right guys, and there we have it. One fish bagged up with fresh water. That's not tank water, that's actually fresh water. Um, it's aged and been through a carbon filter. Um, oxygenated by just putting it with an air stone. And it, we've got white spot remedy fungus remedy and or antifungal and pure oxygen so I'm gonna leave this fish it's it's gonna be like yeah literally it's gonna be 12 hours and then I'm gonna get up it, no it's not gonna be 12 hours 11 hours um, I'm gonna get up in the morning and can take this fish um, I've put it in the pond and I'm gonna leave it floating because I don't want temperature to be a factor in this experiment so I want to keep it floating in water because that way it will hold the temperature um, I might actually move it from there because the aircon's blowing straight on it um, so I might try to find but I might just float it in the clean water that's a good idea we'll just float it down here in the clean water Um, I might fill that back up. We'll turn that back on. But anyway, guys, look this nice little tap here. That's a constant pressure pump. If no one's seen this setup before, and that's a retic controller, a solenoid. So that's actually what feeds the water to my fish room, and it's got a convenient tap on it, so I can tap into this water whenever I want. So. No, oh, it's full. Uh oh. And it's very fast. It's way more pressure than like your than your normal garden hose. <laughs> Do you see how fast <laughs> I just overflowed that bucket? <laughs> Anyway guys, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do a video on the water change system now that I've just looked at that. We've, we've got so many more subscribers than the last time I did one and also it was a long time ago. I'm a lot more confident on the camera now. Um, and I've had a lot more experience with the water change system. Um, you guys don't see the water change system much on the camera because that's how well it works. I never have to work on it. And I know I'm going to kick myself for saying that because something will probably break now. But it runs so smooth. I'm not even joking. Um, it it's near it, it, it's it's good so if I do a new video on it it'll it'll be good for you guys because if anybody wants to copy me they can t see how to do it um, I was just about to end the video but this is not the end of the video guys I will see you at four o'clock tomorrow morning which is right now for you okay guys welcome oh hang on you're already at Rumble's fish room it's mid video isn't it all right so it's a bit foggy um, clean the lens all right so I have already inspected the fish in the bag but I'll show you guys the results I haven't opened the bag and um, I'm pretty happy to be honest all right so I've already started bagging the other fish I just bagged for 10 minutes just to let myself wake up before I started filming but turns out I can't even get the elastic bands off I double bagged it just because I didn't want him biting through the bag so even though I wasn't shipping him I still just double bagged him Alright, so hopefully we don't drop him again. 
check it out guys he's 100% perfect well not you know what I mean that is not any worse off he hasn't even lost all his color so um, one thing if you if you buy a fish that's been in a bag for like 11 12 hours you, you don't don't add the tank water to the bag and and switch it and like acclimatize them to the water um, you want to get them straight out of that water as soon as you open the bag and like you guys can see this oh hang on let, let me turn this light off he's all good um, so I was thinking about last night the difference between when I did when I like burnt the fins on this fish this fish was in a bucket which was like had oxygen transfer um, but when they're in the bag I don't know the complete science but I do know that when they're in the bag there's no oxygen to like trans to activate the ammonia or something so so they don't actually get ammonia burn in the bag it's actually that's the reason you get them straight out of the bag when you open the bag because when you open the bag it does something to the ammonia um, I could research it and give you a proper answer but we'll just go with the act we'll call it activating it activates the ammonia so you need to get the fish out of the bags as soon as you open the bags anyway guys I'm gonna wrap that one up there I've still got a bag of heap more fish and I've got to, um, well, go to the airport before work. So I've got a lot to do this morning. <laughs> if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.